Are you going to GTFH? Cow. <laughs> get the fuck home, right? Not get the fuck out, just get the fuck home. It's me again, Lord. I got a prayer that needs an answer. It's me again, Lord. I got a problem I can't solve. I don't mean to bother you, but that's all I know of it. Well, here I am with something new. Here I am with something new. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use fucking God in the same st sentence. They I'm, didn't. I used the fuck and they used the God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not a church guy. I'm not a church guy, but I think that, that, that's probably uh, Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I go to places that we win. I just search the whole day through for anything that is part of me. I kept the ribbons from your head. Your perfume lingers there. Cheers me up when I'm here. For anything that is part of you. Now you're gone. It's 
just sort of put you to sleep, yeah. It's put me to sleep. I am gonna pack it up. Oh, I realize I'm sitting, I'm sitting here falling asleep. And it's hey, God's fault. <laughs> and what? And it's God's fault. Uh, I hate that sound. Yeah. It's <laughs> a new coffee table. Yeah. And I'm sober. <laughs> it even hurts more. That just really sucks. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> but don't let that ruin the rest of your evening. You want a way to make sure you don't bust your guitar on that coffee table? Yeah. Smash, yeah. It the hell out, smash the hell out of it with the fiddle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Neither Charlie nor uh, Pearlie are up for that. They said no thanks. Well, I'm glad you made it, Ron. It's, uh, so Ron, it was a pleasure playing yes, with pleasure you. Yes, pleasure meeting you, too. Thanks, pleasure playing with you. I wish you could do it more often. Yeah, well, you know. I think we all have that wish. Yeah. I enjoyed it. And, uh, I really did. Yeah, you don't know how much I enjoyed it. As a matter of fact, I just, uh, it's been a long time for me. Yeah. I mean, me too. He, he, calls me, he calls me every day. And he tells me this goes on. I don't believe him. Well, <laughs> uh, you should start listening. Uh, I don't know how long a drive it is to wherever you live, but uh, y'all should play together more often, you know? Not that long. My wife's been sick and is a big pass on the house. Oh, I'm sorry. He's on oxygen and all that. You know, my dad's been losing his mind slowly, which is hard to watch. Um, mm -hmm. I watched his mother do that too. Oh, really? Yeah. And my mom is like, you know, that's the love of her life. And she'll text us and say, okay, I am going to go out for three hours. And one of them is lunch hour. So will somebody please drop by and make sure he's not turned the chicken noodle soup on and forgotten that he did that? You know, yeah. I watched that happen with my mother and my father. I wrote a song about it and James King recorded it. Oh, which song was that? And I've never oh, done that's it another life. song he wrote that uh, James King wrote. Or who recorded it? Yeah, James King. Ted Lundy recorded it and James King also. Yeah, it's called Burning Angel of Death. But it's a love song, it's not a death song. Yeah. It's not let's a do death song. It's not a dirt song. I'm going to try it. See if you can remember. Yeah, I have a hard time remembering the words. He never used to play the C. Let's no, play it wherever you want. No, I'm not telling you where to play it. Okay. Uh, I, better, I don't know. I don't think you can do it anywhere. Where the angel One so young, it's a very full of life. Your cold, cold hands have been stabbed in the dark. Rary angel, open it to my wife. Now each day. Won't you reach your icy fingers out? 
That's the very first time I ever tried to do it, but yeah, I wrote it. So, I think those were 99 cents on iPod. <laughs> <laughs> 99 cents I don't get, but yeah. somebody gets it. And yeah, that's interesting. You can buy that song, for, I don't know how you do it, for 99 cents on the internet, and he doesn't get the money. <laughs> <laughs> because somebody else does it? Because James King. James King. Well, it's by James King. Yeah. But it's not really by James King. Did he pay you for it, or did he just oh, well, take round it? Round the Records paid me. Yeah. Round the Records paid you. Yeah. So they bought the rights to it. Yeah, what happened is that I, my, my, <coughs> well, my mother died, and I got tired of watching my father sitting around looking like his world was ended. And I got so pissed off one day, I went upstairs. I wrote this thing, right? Mm -hmm. And I jammed it in my pocket. And I seen a friend of mine, he yanked it out of my pocket. He said, I like that. I said, it's yours. I left. This was in a men's room somewhere. Oh, God. And it was Joe Haftel who played with Ted Lundy. And he went over to Ted Lundy and asked Ted Lundy to record it. And Ted Lundy recorded it, but then when James King heard it, he recorded it too. So. So you didn't get well, a set for it? Yeah, no, I got paid for it. Okay. Yeah, Grounder Records called me up at home. Hey, Austin. I don't hear any noise going on. We were just talking. Yeah, yeah. Rounder called me at work, as a matter of fact. Well, Joe gave me my phone number. I've and said that we want to record this and no we're running out of time. Okay. And said we got a contract. I said, okay, good. But that's all I knew about it. I didn't uh -huh. even know they had it. You know, so. wow. And then I didn't hear it until it came out. It's you, Jasmine. I wrote that. I wrote that too. <laughs> hey. Yes, sir. What? Well, I tell you, it was a big kick to have it come out. I mean, I'm not a Oh, I'm sure. It was a big kick. I heard it. It was plea. a big kick for me when uh, right. somebody told me it was right. a song I'll, I did and it sung for all over the place. Okay. And they were like, yeah, I heard that you. it sung out in some pizza parlor. You, you called me. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's usually yeah. the person you call that answers the phone. When you record cell phone. things that you hear I, at open mics and places like the Avalon Theater. And okay, all right. And then all you take them back to somebody all right. else Sounds good. and somebody all right. else See. plays them. That was Ray Q, who said, Michelle said for him to call me to tell you guys, us guys, we have to go down to the bar and see the next band. I don't know who, oh, who okay. it is. Oh, okay, I bet it's Blue Mafia. That probably is. But the yes. picked up after they... Uh, I yes. still hadn't heard it, and I had to go out and buy the CD. You <laughs> called? I had to hear it. And uh, well, I, get... I was riding down the street one day, and I heard a play by the University of Penn's radio station. Oh, I nice. Almost, I almost collapsed. I bet. Hello. Damn. Hey. Hello, Mark. How you Hello. feel? Mr. Mark, Good. I'm going to go in here for what this is really made for. I've never had a ride like that in my life. Like what's yeah. that? Get rid of it? Took me eight, eight hours. What did you have that you had to get rid of in eight hours? Sleep. Hangover? Migraine. Oh, migraine. Oh, migraine. Oh, God, those are beasts. I ate through it a little bit. I tried to eat a banana, you know, hours later. Oh. Last five you should have had the banana before you got the migraine, right? Well, yeah. of course I came first. I and I don't get migraines. That's what's, I had a small one a week ago. About four or five hours. Okay, now you know what the uh, watch Now I gotta look and see what's, you know, maybe something going on. Yeah. Mm. So, no, my wife said I used to suffer bad with them for years. Maybe you I know drank enough like. yesterday. No, I think it was too many No, banjos. maybe you didn't drink enough <laughs> water yesterday. There was five banjos and four banjos playing in this room. That's never time. enough. That probably could have set me off. The four banjos? Yeah. Yeah, that would have done it for me. Yeah, maybe that's the problem. You, did you hear that one? I think the reason I had a migraine today because I figured it out was we had four banjos at one time in the room. Yeah. yeah. So we have to go down and hear Blue Mafia before we can yeah, do I'm anything gonna, that's else? Yeah, I just want to say goodbye because I'm going to bed at 12. i got to leave. My uh, daughter-in-law is having a baby shower tomorrow. Okay. Well, you got, so I got to oh, my home. God. You, are you this your first grandchild? The uh, first okay. new one. First new one. <laughs> now, my son got has, other ones, huh? He has a four-year-old that he didn't know about until he was two and a half. I'm gonna give him a phone call one day. So I think it was your child. I might say that. Mm. Surprise! It is a surprise. It's 
just like him. He looks just like him, acts just like him. He is his father's son. Oh my gosh. Oh, so uncanny. And his name is Mark by accident. She didn't even know my name. No, no, yeah. His name is Mark. So he's the third Mark in our family. Me and Mark, my son Mark, and my grandson. Well, she named him Mark because her the the, the father is. I don't Mark. know. You want to do that for ten No, you go ahead. No, what, my son's name is Mark? Dave. No, my son, other son, Dave. Mm -hmm. Oh, Uncle Jim, with Mark. Him. Mark is my eldest. He's oh, okay. Special okay. He's thirty-one. He just turned, and the other one will be thirty in June. Dave. Okay, so I'll Dave. I'll be back. I'm not saying I'm going back. I got to go here. Nice to meet you. 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 Oh, yeah, I, I wouldn't miss anything. I'll be back. I'm going to try to be there tonight. Anybody turn the camera off? <laughs> no. Oh, God. <laughs> You're all getting ready to leave and the camera's on. You've got, you've got probably blackness.